How to be nice to your pets. Everyone needs to know how to be nice to their own pets and animals in general. It is very important to be nice to your pet because if you're not, your pet won't like you anymore. Read on from step 1 for how to be nice to, and love, your pet instead of abusing it. Step 1. Groom your furry pet, if you have one, as often as it requires it. Many pets love to be groomed, but if they do not like it, don't do it unless the pet needs it to stay healthy. Not all pets like to be groomed, but they may need to endure it once in a while if their fur or coat becomes tangled or contaminated. Grooming some dogs, cats, and other animals actually helps their skin by adding oils to it. Step 2. Feed them. Make sure it's just the right amount. Too little food results in hunger, which may result in your new shoes getting chewed by dogs or other pets and malnutrition in your pet. Too much food can cause vomiting and stomach aches and all the conditions usually associated with obesity in animals. You have to distinguish between the times they're genuinely hungry and the times they're just trying to get food. This can be difficult with a horse which will graze outdoors as it chooses or with a hamster that has learned to beg despite having a full food bowl but try to distinguish between hungry and attention seeking where appropriate. Step 3. Clean their food and water bowls at least once a day. It's the same as with us. You wouldn't eat out of the same plate for one whole week, and you wouldn't drink out of the same glass, cup, or mug for a month. Step 4. Give your pets attention. Pets want as much of your attention as possible, dogs especially. However, this attention should be on your terms. In general, acknowledge your pet's existence, even saying hi pet name, how are you doing? Clearly they won't understand what you're saying, but at least it shows that you see them. Step 5. Take dogs on walks as required for their breed. It's unhealthy for a dog not to exercise enough, physically and mentally. Many dogs don't like being stuck in a house, chained to a fence or locked in a kennel, or in the same backyard all day long, they like to get out and explore and get vital exercise. They can also meet other dogs this way, if appropriate. If you only saw other people when you went on walks, wouldn't you enjoy them too? Whilst other pets exist, walks is a common exercise for dogs only. If your pet isn't a dog, find an appropriate way to exercise it, this may be a walk, but it could be something else. Step 6 Physical contact is very important to the socialization of many animals and makes them much more friendly. Play with your pet, stroke them, or just sit on the grass and goof around. Around. Step 7. Never treat a pet especially a dog, like a child. A dog is an animal and needs leadership. Don't pander to insecurity. Instead, be strong and lead by... Step 8. Do not do anything to hurt the pet. They are fragile and it will make them dislike you. If you accidentally bump into it or kick it, make sure you apologize by a treat of some sort or a reassuring pat on the head. Step 9. Make sure you take your pet to the vet regularly. Your pet may not like it, but in the end, it's better to cause a bit of discomfort now and then to find out later that it has a bad case of worms that could have been stopped a while ago. Reward it once in a while. Step 10. You are the pet's boss. Don't terrorize it by tugging on its leash, slapping him slash her as a punishment, etc. But make sure you don't let it get away with everything. Remember, you're in charge, not FID. Step 11. Do not become impatient with your pet. They can't necessarily understand you verbally. So don't rant off to them. They'll just see you as a crazy foreign master who likes to talk to himself a lot.